Hello, I am uh, Marie Merci for uh, Be the Change, and today uh, we have a guest. Uh, this is not the first time that uh, I meet her. She's a uh, Kansa Anjum, and she's in Faisalabad, uh, Pakistan, and she's a mindset coach. So, uh, how are you today, uh, Kansa? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, yes. And uh, since the last time that we met, uh, I know that you were invited uh, to at least four events to uh, take, uh, to talk in front of people, in fact, about your mindset coaching. So um, how was your experience? Yeah, my experience was awesome. People are learning a lot. Basically, people are getting aware about these important topics. Yeah, they don't know that these are also important. Their physical health is also important, but their mental health is more important. So yes. I am very happy that people are now getting aware about this. I think that, uh, I'm not sure, but I think that you met with a group of women somewhere. Right? Yeah. And these, uh, these women uh, were delivering problems of tr stress and some may be living problems of violence. Yeah. Uh, basically, these were the teenager girls, so they had okay. some problems with their stress management in their ex related to their exams, anxieties, such type of issues. And they were uh, they were interested a lot by what you were saying. Yeah, they learned. They learned a lot. They were very happy that yeah, they are now equipped with some techniques and tools. So. Uh, and that was a meeting in person, I think. Eh? Yeah, it was a physical event. It was an uh, like NGO type uh, super sisters of Pakistan. So they invited me and their students and many ladies were there. Many Basically teenager girls were there. So yeah. That's interesting because these uh, young people are those who uh, can benefit the most uh, your coaching because when you are young, if you learn immediately how to fight uh, stress and fear, when you will be adult, you will be able to fight it more efficiently. Yes. So I think this is interesting that you met these people. So today uh, we'll start uh, by uh, talking what is stress in fact? Yeah, stress is basically a pressure experienced by a person it's in response to uh, life demands. So what are these life demands? These life demands are called stresses. So basically, there are the two types of stresses. Number one is like we have external stresses, and number two, we have internal stresses. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is what cards stress. Yeah, because uh, I think that uh, stress is kind of a general term for many things. Uh, it depends on people. Some people define it in a way, others in another way. Uh, me personally, like I already talked, uh, once in the first interview I think that we had me I'm a person who suffers a lot from anxiety so this is a kind of stress but uh, I know that this is only one kind of stress because there is anxiety there is fear there is a uh, uh, anticipation there are many forms of stress yeah basically uh, when uh, stress is not a problem because we human beings are quite naturally trained to uh, manage stress daily but stress become a problem when your stresses remain for a longer period of a time so yeah. it becomes a real problem and it can cause ultimately anxiety depression and other issues and uh, basically the symptoms that you we can feel when we are having stress is like that we can feel headache swear mm -hmm. headache and we can feel nauseatic situation, sudden nausea. We, we can develop sudden nausea. We can have disturbance in our digestions. We can have a lack, lack of lack of performance and we can have low performance issues and lack of concentrations. And we can have disturbance in our sleep cycles. And ultimately these things, if your stressor remain for a longer period of the time, it can cause also anxiety. Yes, yes. and. Uh... Personally, I can see that uh, when uh, I will call it stress, when stress or anxiety uh, installs in your body and in your mind uh, <clears throat> for a long period, after that, it's like if your uh, mind, let's see, and because because this is the mind, but the body reacts, and uh, it, it kind of installs in your mind forever. So you are always fighting each moment of your life against this anxiety so it becomes it becomes a nightmare 
and this is for me uh, i think probably one of the most uh, difficult things to control in life and also one of the most uh, dangerous thing to happen to a person because it cuts you from your real life in fact yeah can you see me yes yeah yeah you are right uh, when we are not able to handle or manage anxiety in a better way then uh, we are not able to enjoy our present moments yeah it kind of this is a state of mind i know but uh, it can affect the body so this is why i think people must understand that they must first control their thoughts yeah exactly you are right because everything starts from your thought so uh, basically your thoughts create your reality in long term so you must know how to handle your thoughts how to and train your mind in a positive manner yes and what uh, for you what are the most uh, the principal agent of stress that can affect a, pe- a person okay so basically uh, i was talking about stresses stresses can be internal and external so what are the external stresses external stresses can be of organizational like uh, you are working in an organization and you are getting stress from there because of their deadlines and many other issues because of the working environment because of the bosses and because of all uh, many other things number one is organizational because of organization and number two is major life events like uh, uh, death happened or some sudden loss happened so it is also an external stressor and because of social interactions like because of your relationships it, uh, these also can be stressors and one more thing is like like life has hazards like you have a very strict routine to follow daily one stress more one 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 and then it becomes a lot of things to handle so these are the external stresses and there are some internal stresses we also can create stress because of our thoughts as you mentioned earlier so basically what are the internal stresses internal stresses are because of our self talk our negative self talk and it can be because of our mind traps because of our negative thoughts and it can be because of our lifestyle choices and sometimes because of our some personality traits like some of our habits and patterns can be such type that they can also a source of stress for us so yeah these are the things that can cause stress for you but uh, do do you think that uh... a major cause of anxiety on the long run can be uh, caused by when someone is under the control of someone else and for a long time and always living in some kind of a situation of fear so i think i'm talking about that because for me this is what uh, started this anxiety in me probably probably that it was already in my system since i was young and it kind of developed slowly but i think it takes just one bad experience that can bring you fear it can it can cause after that anxiety on the long run for a long time for all your life in fact so i think that yeah. person people who are under the control of someone who's uh, <clears throat> acting uh, i would say almost violently psych- psychologically or physically it can cause lots of anxiety exactly for this like uh, uh, when we discuss about the strategies so one of the strategies is like you should know your life preferences you should be aware of that that what is important for you in your life and you should set straight boundaries you should know how to say no to others so when you have to say no and you have to say yes so it's very important you have to understand that yeah these are my life uh, preferences you should write four to five preferences the things that are important to you and you should select one to two more important items and you should focus on only those two to three things in life other things are distractions yeah you you should schedule some time for your other things as well but you should m- more focus on the more preferences in your life and when you are having relationships you should know your boundaries you should know that no it's not not allowed i am not allowing you to do this and you should convey this message to others as well you need to communicate mm-hmm. and you should say you should say no because when you are saying yes to everyone and everything you are saying no to yourself so it's very important 
Yes, but uh, for uh, for some people, uh, <clears throat> for some people, sometimes this is hard to get out of uh, <clears throat> certain situations. And uh, I know that some people are caught in uh, in a trap. I would say they are caught in uh, <clears throat> under the control of some other people, and they are af afraid of. <clears throat> pardon me. They are afraid of uh, at least trying to get out of this situation because they don't know how. So, how can a person can at least find the strength to get out of a situation when they are some kind of abused. Okay, so then uh, first of all, you need to take responsibility of your life. You should know that no, it's not allowed. I am not allowing mm -hmm. you. Sometimes we are giving control to others as well. We are allowing them that yeah, yes. you can do this. So first of all, you should know that no, it's my boundary. I will not allow every anyone. You need to communicate. If other person is not listening to you, then the main thing that you need to uh, get out of that situation. It will be ultimately the solution. But yeah, first of all, you need to take responsibility and you need to communicate your needs. You should be very clear about what you want in your life. Then you will be able to communicate others and then, then you will be able to leave that situation as well. Yes, but uh, how for uh, for anybody, in fact, who is uh, under uh, anxiety, fear, uh, anticipation, how to manage all that to find the strength to get out of it? Okay, so first of all, you need to take responsibility of your life. You have to say to yourself that no one is coming to help me. I am mm -hmm. the one who have to rescue myself. So first of all, you need to communicate this to yourself. Then you have to manage yourself, your thoughts. Like different thoughts will come into your mind. No, I cannot move from here. For, I cannot leave, uh, live alone. Yes. Yeah. And I will know what will happen with me uh, if I left this place. These are the thoughts come when we have to take responsibility to leave any situation. So then you have to challenge your thoughts. You have to say to yourself, what is good in it? What is this situation trying to teach me? What I can learn from this situation? And what can be my different choices and strategies for the next time it will happen? So you have to ask yourself good question and you need to challenge your thoughts. And you have to talk to yourself like you are talking to your friend. Because when we, my friend or your friend is in trouble, we are very good motivator. We are telling them every advice. But when we are... In the situation, we are fueling our thoughts. We are not giving ourselves good advices. So we need to be over motivated and we need to tell, no, I can do this. And you can practice positive affirmations that, no, I can do this. I can do this. You have to tell yourself that you are basically you are resourceful. You have all the resources. But first of all, you need to trust yourself. You need to challenge your thoughts and then you can and you need to take responsibility. Yes, because uh, I was asking that because I know that uh, in certain situations, like you said, this is what I noticed the most. Uh, <clears throat> I remember when I was younger, I was uh, confronted to that. Uh, I knew a person who was stuck in a situation like that. And like you said, people often think, uh, how can I get out of it? And what will I become if I go from here? I will be alone, I will be afraid, I won't have a place to go. So this is the first obstacle, I think, for persons who are stuck in the situation like that because uh, <clears throat> stress takes the control and they cannot even think about a solution. Yeah. And this is, the, this is the hard part because you have to find one solution to have the courage to get out of the situation that, that you are stuck in. Yeah. Uh, first of all, when you take courage, when you take responsibility, this will be your first step. And then you have to say to yourself, no, I can't do this. And that will help you. And then visualization, like we mentioned earlier, visualization can also help a lot. Like you have to think about that. Everything you want in your future life, that this is about to happen. You have to visualize your goals in your life. So these things will help a lot in managing writing down your thoughts you need to write down everything you are feeling you need to write down everything it will help you a lot in long run but uh, i think that uh, there are for me there are three uh, some kind of three ways of seeing that when a person is suffering a lot from stress or anxiety uh, first if this is possible it's important to have someone to uh, Tell things, tell what you're feeling, and also to support you, help you maybe. After that, uh, 
getting out of the situation is the key because if you stay there, you will always be in co under the control of that situation. And do you think that uh, for people who uh, suffer from major stress or anxiety, do you think this is uh, important to take or not to take medication? Yeah, it's a very good question. But yes. Basically, I will not uh, say I'm preferred to use or uh, allow anyone to use medications because medications are only temporary uh, like uh, solution. I usually give an example, a metaphor, like uh, when mm. you have some like stones in your kidneys. Yeah. So yeah. what happens, you use some medicines to relieve it. And it will give you temporary uh, solution. But yeah. you, in order to get a permanent solution, you have to plug that stone. You have to remove yes. that stone. Mm. So similar is the situation. You are taking medications. It is temporary relief. It is giving you more sleep. And it is allowing you to uh, be calm and composed for some time. But what about the things that are in your head? And what about the root causes yeah. of your stress and anxiety? They are unresolved. So that's why you need to first re resolve the root causes. You need to sit with some professionals so that they can mm -hmm. help you to resolve that problems. Yes, but for uh, for people who are uh, really under major stress, sometimes uh, the uh, I would say they almost need to have a certain kind of medication at least at the start. But uh, for someone who goes uh, to see a doctor, for example. Yeah, uh, I, we know that we know that uh, the system of medicine medicine is made uh, often that doctors uh, prescribe medication because this is some kind of uh, financial affair. So uh, the more they prescribe, the more it's uh, making the money roll. But for the people who start taking medication, how to be able to stop that and control themselves without the help of the medication? Yeah, exactly. I basically if when you contact a coach or professional they know to handle basically when your uh, root cause will be solved your problem will be solved then there will be no need of medication so yeah you need to sit with some professionals some psychologists some coach who can help you to find the root cause and to help you to reach to your solutions yes but uh, finally I, w I want to uh, talk about another factor <clears throat> when you are uh, under stress or strong anxiety uh, i know that yes because i know personally uh, this is not very good to be alone so uh, when you are alone facing a state of mind like that how to uh, manage to fight that without the help of anybody because when you are alone uh, you enter in your apartment for example and you open the door and you think uh, you think okay i will be alone once again tonight and I will be probably uh, anticipating more lots of things because my brain is used to that, brings me a lot of negative thoughts and I'm alone. Uh, I have nobody to talk to. Yeah. So I think solitude when you are stuck like that is a problem. Okay. So then there are the, some strategies and the tool. Number one is deep breathing. Deep breathing can help you like you are having stress, you are having anxiety, then you have to take deep breath. Mm -hmm. Deep breath, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And you can take like four, seven, eight breathing, four, four, four breathing. Like you have to inhale for four seconds, then you have to pass for seven seconds, and then you have to exhale for eight seconds. So it will help you a lot. Number one thing is like that. Number two thing is change your body posture, change your physiology, change your body. Like when you are sitting, you have having a stressor. Yeah, some major life event happened or some stressor come like your boss has given you another assignment or any other thing and you are stuck, you are not able to focus on your work. Then you have to leave that work. You have to go for a walk for 10 to 15 minutes if you are not allowed to go out of your uh, room. So you can take some uh, walk in your room as well. You can visit in your room. So it will mm -hmm. help you let down the stress and other things like i focus on people are not aware of the power of journaling journaling is very helpful tool when you are writing down your thoughts yes. on a paper or nowadays you have we all have mobiles we can use, yeah. use our notes and we have not padding over mobiles so we can mm -hmm. type all the thoughts on in that so, sometimes we have not notebook not have paper so we can type all our thoughts there it is a very it is very useful for me as uh, always so 
it is a very useful technique and then mm-hmm. other thing is like uh, your self talk your challenge your thoughts like you have to ask your good questions like mm-hmm. what is this trying to teach me what is this situation instead of asking what will happen with me what uh, why me and uh, all these questions because you are fueling your anxiety you are fueling your in- uh, stress you are increasing it so you have to learn yes. and you have to be talking to yourself in a positive manner like you are talking to your friend so you have to ask yourself what is this trying to teach me what is mm-hmm. this uh, what i can learn from it and what will be my strategy next time that will happen or what can be my choices now so when we focus on solution you will get solution but when we are thinking of only about problem you will get more problems so yeah yes. it will help and one thing more is uh, gratitude gratitude is very important like when we are having problem we are what we are saying everywhere is problem 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 but we are neglecting other all other things that we are grateful for like yes. i am sitting here i have having a stress but i have a meal to eat right i have a mm-hmm. shelter to sleep many people yeah. they are having that so yes. i have to remind myself of all the blessing i have all that day so it will also help me to be relief that yeah uh, i have this i have this i have this and i i can get over this uh, as well so it is also important so these are the techniques when you are alone this techniques will help you a lot and like visualization you have to close your eyes you are very stressful close your eyes and uh, see yourself like you are are uh, in a very comfortable place you are in a place where you want to be like you are in your favorite place like any hilly area or any other thing uh, and you have to see yourself that you are doing everything you want to do you are hearing everything you want to hear from that moment and you are feeling everything you want to feel be there for 4 to 5 minutes it's mm-hmm. like a visualization meditative me- visualization it will help you a lot and if you are following meditation routine a uh, daily meditation routine then it will help you a lot in managing stress and anxiety in the long run so these are very powerful all the techniques when you are not able to contact everyone when you have not support then you can use the techniques on your own to help you manage instantly yes okay so i think that uh, <clears throat> this is a good way of uh, exploring all the possibilities uh, the situation so uh, I think that was a good uh, conversation and uh, I think you can so and I hope that uh, we'll talk again soon because I know that uh, there are so many people uh, around us who are suffering most most of the time in silence they don't say to anybody because they are almost ashamed of that they think in their head oh well, probably I'm alone uh, feeling like that feeling that stressed and <clears throat> some most of the time people don't talk about it they are afraid of talking about it so uh, <clears throat> at least uh, hearing uh, solutions like uh, you gave can at least give hope to these people exactly yes so i thank you and uh, i hope that we will meet again uh, soon sure thank you ganza